the 3rd of February, 1954. The stage is set for the historic platinum weighing ceremony. 50,000 people foregather in a specially erected stadium at the Aga Khan Gymkhana, Karachi. Officials and dignitaries start arriving as the time for the ceremony draws nearer. The huge stadium is packed to capacity with guests and 35,000 Pakistani followers of the Aga Khan. 17 countries with Ismaili populations have sent representative delegations to witness this unique ceremony. Dressed in their national costumes, Ismailis from three continents add a touch of colour and internationalism to the scene. This vast assembly is a tribute to the leadership of His Royal Highness, not only by his own followers, but also from the Muslim people of this subcontinent for whom he first secured the right of separate representation in politics thus safeguarding their religious, political and cultural identity, which later led to the birth of Pakistan. Prince Ali Khan arrives with his Karachi host, His Excellency the Governor of Sindh and Begum Rahim Tula, and meets important guests from overseas and Platinum Jubilee officials. The Honourable Prime Minister of Pakistan and Begum Muhammad Ali are conducted on arrival towards a special enclosure where they are welcomed by Prince Ali Khan. Their Royal Highnesses Prince and Begum Aga Khan are now arriving and tumultuous cheering breaks out as they drive into the stadium. Dressed in traditional ceremonial robes, which he wore nearly 60 years ago when he first met Queen Victoria, His Royal Highness acknowledges the greetings of the gathering as he walks slowly forward to ascend the dais. Begum Aga Khan is received in the special enclosure by the Prime Minister and Begum Muhammad Ali. All eyes are turned towards the dais, and this predominantly Muslim audience looking at the dignified figure of the aged Aga Khan, recalls his great services to the Muslim people for more than half a century. True Islam, he has said, is dynamic, with its simple faith and open mind. The soul of our nation is more important than all its other resources. After a recital from the Holy Quran, an address of welcome is read out, enumerating His Royal Highness's vast achievements. Addressing the assembly, His Royal Highness said that if the people of a nation are united and self-sacrificing, there is nothing they cannot overcome, and everyone should be loyal to Pakistan. The day starts revolving as the weighing ceremony begins. Symbolic pieces of platinum are placed on the scale which has been specially constructed to register 14 pounds for every ounce of platinum. The funds collected by the Platinum Jubilee Association will be devoted to the formation of the Platinum Jubilee Finance Corporation with a capital of one and a half crores of rupees, whose objective is that no Ismaili in Pakistan remains without a profession or business of his own by 1960. The applause mounts as the weighing proceeds and the scale finally shows His Royal Highness's weight at 215 pounds. The Platinum Jubilee marks the completion of 70 years of the Aga Khan's spiritual leadership of Ismaili Muslims, and His Royal Highness receives innumerable felicitations when he descends from the dais. So ends this historic jubilee, another unique landmark in the distinguished career of a great Muslim and a great man, whose service to our people and love for Pakistan are characterized in his parting message to our nation, which said, Pakistan, Zindabad. <laughs>